Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo back for episode 3 of my playthrough of Foundation. And I'm really loving this game. It has quickly risen to the top of my favorites of my city builders. It's not complete. There is a brick wall that you hit eventually. But I'm telling you, this game has me really interested right now. I'm, I'm really, really, really loving it. Alright. We just finished building this church, and we need to get this market completed. In fact, we need to get this market completed rather rapidly, and we need to work out what we're going to do in this area. Right now, we have one gatherer's hut. Let's make sure that they are indeed gathering. They are. And I should be getting free territory right now I think do they owe me a free territory yes they do and we are going to take this territory right here because I want to build out this area over here so just to start off with I'm going to I'm gonna put a lumberer camp up here just to get this place cleared out and then I'm gonna put a couple a couple of huts in here so let's put a gatherers oh we don't have the money for it we'll wait until we have money we have to start getting ourselves situated over here so we just got the shepherd up so let's get our interface set up we're gonna need that there and we're gonna need these two things and we're gonna need this all right, let's put this over here. Let's put this over here. Let's see if we have any villagers. Yes, we do. I've been holding on to this one that we can make a shepherd. And we're just going to close out our forager right there. Okay, good. Good. All right, so I don't forget to do this later. I'm going to put the blue dot right around this. Then I'm going to put the blue right around this hold down the control button spin the mouse wheel and you can change the size of your paintbrush sure anyone that's done computer art is familiar with that all right that was just too big i don't know why it matters how big this is all right let's just wait for those things to get done um i'm do you want to build something in this area over here? And we'll get that done after we get this up and running. I think we need fish running out of this one over here. So we have two fisheries up. And I want to get two over here. So I will build a couple of fisheries. So fishing. Here's one. And here's another. And that should be the first of many things that's going to make this area very appealing for people to live in. We have two more people coming, hoping that we're going to get this done for us. All right. I'm going to slow down just a little bit and make the game go faster, just so we can get through this area, this, this time of in uncertainty and indirection if that was ever a word I'm making up my own words all right so let's see what's going on here we have that one hut here i love i love when they're doing that they have all the little flakes coming out of the bushes that's pretty cool all right the weaver's hut is relying on tools which we have you know what i think we're just going to need another couple of builders. I'm not sure what they're building. Oh, Kunigund. Kunigundi? Kunigundi. She's getting things done right now over there. Really need that weaver's hut up and running. Be 
because we're going to need... Okay, that's good. So we're just down to 10 planks that need to be brought to it. Go get the planks and bring them over, and we should be okay. See if we get any cool quests in the meantime. Up, oh, she's bringing the 10 planks over. And then we're going to be able to put some people in the weaver's hut. So we're going to hold on to these two people and put them in the weaver's hut. I'm just going to slow down our growth rate, rate a little bit. All right, so I want these things gone. So I'm going to build yet another lumber camp, this time right here. I could get rid of trees in other ways, but I really want the lumber. Really very much want the lumber. The other thing is, I don't like where this is. So I'm going to lay in... Yeah, I really don't like where that is. Weaver's Hut is done. Let's get them assigned. And I don't like this at all. Can I make a sawmill? I don't think I have enough money right now. I don't. But we should start getting some things online here. So I'm going to just drop down to 2x. Just for now. All right, so our market is going to gain another stall in just a little bit. We're going to be able to put fish in there to keep our people well fed. Now, we're going to get a little bit more people here. So we're reaching the 50 limit. And right now, that's what we have in here. So we're going to have to edit our place again. And I think I'm going to do it with this wooden extension B on this side. I think I'm going to have to turn this off to do what I want to do. All right, let's... Turn it just like that. And let's bring it up to here. Okay, that's where I want it. And then let's do it with the next one too. I'm going to have to get in just a little bit tight to see this. That shouldn't be too bad for what I want to get out of this. So that should bring our population limit on this just a little bit more. Let's do the same thing over here. There we go. And I think we need to go right over here. Does it look anywhere near the same? Nope. This has got to be down one. Nope. It's got to be up one. It's kind of weird looking. Don't know. Let's get that last one in. This should increase the number of people that we can put in here. And it should increase it pretty substantially, to be honest with you. I'm not exactly sure how many people we'll be able to fit, but it's going to be a number. Alright, so there... Let's just put this over here for now. All right. And let's make sure that we have this lined up. I can't tell what all those trees in the way. Alright, 
So that is what was wrong. All right. So. I'm thinking that these are just... Eh, I don't care if it doesn't match up. That's what we got. Okay. So that's what we got. We have a nice big church. I'm happy with it. I'm extremely happy with it. That's good. I wonder if we just say start construction, if that would be good. All right, so... Who do we want to help right now? Do we want to help these folks? We can unlock the hedge. Hunter, we need a little bit more there. The clergy. Rustic church edition. So let's, let's help the clergy. That might be good. I don't know if we're going to have enough fish for this, but it might be good. All right, we're going to need another, another one of these things. So we need to make a warehouse over here. We still don't have enough money. Oh, we do right now. That's good. So we have at least one, yeah, at least one in the right place there. Yeah, this is going to force them to make another route in here, but I'm okay with that. And I really don't want this there. All right, we're good. Let's close that out. All right, let's see the Weaver's Hut. The Weaver's Hut has gotten done. And is the Weaver's Hut making anything? That's the question. Well, we put somebody in there, but we did not do the most important thing. We did not spawn sheep. So we spawned a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of sheep. A whole bunch. To the point where the, the computer was telling us, or the game was telling us, are we sure? Seriously, stop. No more. There should always be more sheep than people. Like New Zealand. <laughs> like Wales. <laughs> okay, let's see. Alright, so this should get built. It's waiting on five. We should start getting wool coming in. We'll see how that happens. Now I can make things better for them if I built my industry around places like this, around my warehouses. All right, construction site, stonemason, Weaver's Hut is already done. It, Weaver's Hut doesn't have any of that. Let's see, does he have any of this? So give me an idea of how things are going. I like that I don't have to pin anything in this game like I did in other games. All right, so lumber camp. We should have immigration turned back on. We're going to need woodcutters, and we're going to need some other things. I'm going to want to build two foragers over here. I barely have enough money for one. Nope. I had enough for a second, but I don't have enough anymore. All right, let's see what exactly is going on with our trading. We're going to get polished stone on soon, so I'm going to tell it to sell polished stone over 20. Um, fish, I'm going to up to 125, just for now. I know that we have a ton of fish, but... Just for now, but I don't believe that they buy fish. They're not buying fish. So let's take the fish out of being purchased. Um, they are buying berries, bread. Oh, wait, berries, gold. Okay, berries, planks. Planks they need. How many planks do I have? 60. All right, I think I'm set here. Okay. So, it looks like... 
It looks like we have the Weaver's Hut making their first little batch of wool. That's what it looks like. It also looks like there's some wool going over to the market to finish off the market. So those things are going to be very important for all the things that we need to do. All right, we're going to need some people. That's definitely a thing. Because we're missing a fisherman over here because we put these two fishermen in. And, yeah, we're going to need quite a number of people in this place in not too long from now. So the market is done. And what we're going to do is we're going to add fish to the market. And let's make sure that the next person that comes in goes fisherman, market, tender. And then after that, we could start finishing fish. Well, we can start to fill up the foragers. Oh my God, I can't speak today. We're on every seven or eight days that we have people coming. And our place of worship should be taken care of in the not too distant future. We're making that a really big church little by little. So we're waiting for certain things to get done. And I believe the stonemason hut is just about ready to be finished. Kunagundi has to go back over and get one more wool, which she has with her. She'll bring it over, smack it right into it, and we'll have ourselves a stonemason. All right. We're still waiting on those two people to catch up and get to the town center. Kunigundi, where are you? Show me you coming here. It says you are bringing wool. Yet I don't see you. There you are. She's coming over here. And she comes in. Puts it on the... And we're done. Okay, good. Stonemason hut is done. Weaver hut... It's now making wool. We have five extra. And the sheep farm is now making lots of wool. I should say wool cloth and wool. All right, we are done. All right, let's see what's next. We have some buildings being built. Hmm, I guess to let all the things that I've built get built before we start moving on. So let's put this into turbo mode. And see everybody fly around the city and get things done. Uh, we're going to very much need to build a town center here. So I'm going to tell them to build that. The house just got built. Do we have anybody missing a house? Two villagers are lacking a house. Well, they can build one. Lumber camp just got built, and I think it's the one that's over here. Yep. And the one that's over here is done. So we're good. All right, let's put these two people where they belong. One's going to be a stonemason. And the other one's going to be a fisherman. Because we're going to start going through all that fish now that we're selling it in the market. So we have enough for me to do what I wanted to do, which is to take the sawmill. And I thought we had enough. Sawmills cost a lot of money. All right, two new villagers joining us. We know where they're going. It says something about fish, but it's not bringing fish anywhere. Clear out this and let's just choose fish. All right, so fish should be brought to this one now. Let's hope that they do bring fish there. Let's see. They just loaded it up with fish and now we can close that out. Good. That worked out for us. All right, so I want these, I want people to be in here. 
So we have four days, five days for new people to show up. What are they working on right now? What are they building? I know what I want to build. I want to build a gathering hut over here. That's one. That's two. So we did clear out the trees in here rather effectively and what I would say too effectively. So let's drop a few of these decorative trees in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a road sign right out here. Well, we'll put the road sign right here where it makes more sense. And then we can do a couple of decorative trees for five gold each. <laughs> well, we have no gold. How about that? There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Let's see how they look. I don't know if they're going to look good, but we'll be able to tell. Just a few minutes. So building this up nicely over here, there's two people. And what we want is for this one over here to get built out. Okay. Got two people over there. Next thing is going to be a market tender. One, two, three. We have three market tenders? Where am I missing a market tender? Why do I have areas for three market tenders? One, two, three. Where does it show the other one though? Uh, I'm not. I'm absolutely lost. Why well, have three? I, I don't know why I have three. That's weird. I don't know why I have three. I, I think there's one missing. That's... That's crazy to me. We'll take that fisherman, put him in there, so we continuously sell this fish. And it looks like we have a nice little... Oh, well, let's see. They want fish. Who did we help out the last time? We helped the clergy. And that gives us rustic church additions. What can we get over here? Nothing. What can we get over here? We can unlock the hedge. So that would be our people. So we will help our people. And we will continue to fish. Get lots of fish. Hopefully and move on from there. Okay, for me to get this done. That worked out very well for us. We haven't seen an envoy in a bit. An envoy would help us get a free spot, and I think once we get another free spot, hmm, I think we're going to go in this area so we could start building up another town center in, like, this area. I think it's going to be important. There's two more people. And they're going to be woodcutters. It's going to be the important part of their life, cutting all the wood. These guys are taking down this forest over here. Now let's see how much of this forest is actually... So they're going for the part that's easy, right? 
I want them right over here. I want them right in here. I want all these trees gone. No other trees do I care about, but I care about these over here. So we'll see if they get these. Is there still a, yeah, there's still a forester over there. One villager lacks a place for a house. All right, well, he's gonna be lacking a place for a house for a little bit. So let's do another one over here and then one over there. That should work out pretty well for us. We're at 313. I want to start thinking about the food production line now. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw down another one of these. Actually, I think it's more important to put a mill down first, and then we'll do one of those. And this windmill, I'm going to do right to the side of the road like this. All right, let's see when they get that done. Oh, good. They're going into the area I want to build in. So once they get some of these trees cleared, we could start making market stalls and stuff. My voice is so hoarse, and I apologize for that, folks. All right, so we have to take a look. Oh, our church is almost done, which means we're going to get a little bit more of a boost. Oh, wow, we have everybody. So it's just houses people are missing. So we're going to have to worry about that. Houses. All right, since we're selling a lot of cool stuff, I want to do two more fishers, fishing piers. I want to do one here. And I want to do another one right here. All right, so two more villagers coming. One lacks space. And please, Mr. Envoy, come and ask for me for soldiers. That's going to be very important for me. Need to get that working. So I need room over here to expand this way. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a well right dead in the center of where I think it should be. And I think the well should be right about... there will make sense and we can create a market once they get some of these things down but that well is going to be the first thing that needs to get built uh, we could probably build a market too uh, we have way too much going in right now and as I say that we really don't we probably need a tailor going in that's going to be important too they don't have any anything. So good stall I'm going to put on the top here. And then I'm going to put food stall over here. And a food stall over here. We're going to have to come back here and do things to this. So the good stall is going to get a red tent. I think I have snapping off right now. I'm going to put snapping back on. And then we're going to get two green tents over here. One right here. And then boy is here. Yay! start construction just yet. Alright. 
Let's send our troops. Maria. Caria. Hammond. Vittori. And Martin. See ya. All right. So where were we? Green tent. Green tent. I think I could probably fit another one of these in. Good stall. That's as far as it will let me put it. So I'm not going to play with that. I want this to be right on there. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Green tent. All right. And then put in the signs. Good stall sign. We'll go right over here. A food stall sign will go over here. Over here. And of course, over here. I do want a couple of benches, but I'm not sure where they're going to go for now. So I'm just going to put a bench behind each one of the tents. And I'm only putting the benches out because you get a half a prestige point for every one. So it's two useless prestige points for doing this. Good. Got it. All right, so now I could do a couple of barrels. And I could just do a couple of barrels like here. A couple of barrels right next to it over here. A couple of barrels right next to it over here. A couple of barrels right next to it over here. I'm just going to tell them to start construction. Now, the reason I did that, now that there's a market and a well over there, watch this. As I go here and I go to paint, look at that huge green circle around this area now. So we're going to be able to paint in lots of people right in that area. So it's going to be very important. Very important. Okay, we got two. Let's do uh, foragers. Okay, we got our foragers in there. We're also going to need transporters over here going in. And do I have enough money to build that sawmill that I want to put over here? Where do I want to put that sawmill? I want to put that sawmill right here. And I want to put the second one right here. I want to put two because planks are going to be very important to us. Now we put that there, but I really want to put the stonemason hut, which I don't think I have enough money for right now. I do. Right, ac right across from them. And that, that over there I think is going to be nice. We're going to get rid of this over here once that's done. And then I'm going to put a tailor right over here. All right, so let's do this. Let's just tell them to get one of these things done. I know there's a lot going on. Now, we have our church done. It doesn't look exactly like what I wanted it to, but it's all right. It's a little bit off. But how many people does it fit? It fits 70 people, and we have 88. Wow, that's getting a little bit crazy. We're going to need to build another church at some point. It'll probably be in this direction. 
All right, so let's look at painting in places for people to live. All right, so if I were to paint in, I would paint in a line like this. And then I would paint in a line like this, just to connect them. And I would shrink this down and say, don't, don't live in the vicinity of those circles. Now, I think everybody has a place for a house now. Two people have come and they are going to become transporter and a forager. All right, so I want this built and this built, and I want to start moving things around. Is I want people to live where they live and work where they want to work, and I don't want them to cross those paths. We're almost done accepting people. Almost. One villager lacks the space for housing? Are you kidding me? We just opened this whole area up for you. You gotta be kidding me. There's something strange going on around here. All right, so we should have those two people. So I'm going to do uh, just two straight foragers. The more foragers I get, the better. Alrighty, so let's see our people are. Oh, good, I remembered to do that. Uh, a lot of times I forget, so that's good. We're just going to get rid of this one. And then we're going to lay in that tailor like I said we were going to do. Um, let's see where it is. Taylor's Workshop. All right. So Taylor's Workshop is in. Let's get that done. Now, once these stonemason huts get built over here, I'm going to get rid of this one and just lay in more people to live there. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. So let's get rid of all this. All right. Those guys got rid of everything. Look at them. I totally forgot about them. Let's go. Oh, we got our free area. All right. So I want to go here. There's not even a question about that. All right, so deliveries, let's get them done. Yeah, that wasn't even a question in my mind that I was going there because I need to paint in a little bit more of the residential sections. People don't like to live in these areas. They're red. And this is water. They can drown. All right. So, I think people being that close to the mall or whatever you want to call this area is going to look weird. I got to get rid of this. That means I have three, three of them that I've got to keep working. Stone cutter. We'll let them come out here. We'll tell them to get this area in here. And we'll tell them to keep this area filled up. That should be good. All right, 
right, so we've got that working. And I need a baker. I also have an extra market tender for some reason, and I don't know why. I don't know where this one is. Oh, is this one over here? Oh, I have no idea where that one is. See this? I don't know where that's pointing to. Is there one up in the air? So here's a market stall, right? That's one. Here's a market stall. That's two. It's berries. That's fish. Oh, is that? That's a good sign. Edit. I think we need a food sign over there. All right, that's good. People are buying all their stuff up. Good. Now a baker. A baker is important, but so is getting this area up. But where would you put a baker? I think I would put a baker in this area over here. I'm going to take the liberty put, to put the baker over here. Let's put the baker on this side. Bakery. It's going to step right onto their homes. What if we just put it right here? We'll put it right there, see what happens. It's not going to be too far from the market stalls. Let's see how many people we have that we could put into foragers. One. And then two fishermen. Should leave it. Leaves us with one. And we could assign him to be a miller. Cool. We're also going to need a church in this area. So I feel like the church is going to be best right over here. So let's build a small church. I'm going to go into here, Rustic Church, and we have a core. Let's go in and let's build this sucker. All right, so we have the core. Now, I think I'm just going to work with these extensions over here. First thing first, I want to get this up. I want to take this off, and I want to build this like this. I want to see if I can get this to meet in the middle. It might mean I have to play with it a little bit. That should be good. All right, and then A again. Uh, that's the front door that we're going to need. That's a small tower that we're going to need. We'll need that out here. Extension A. Oh, wow, that's a stone extension A. Is that really stone extension? It is. All right. What does stone extension B look like? Hmm. Why does that not look centered? 
So the stone extension. All right. And small tower A, small tower B, wood extension A. All right. Let's take this back off again. Let's spin it around. I want to bring this all the way up. I want to bring this together with that. So it's going to mean having to finagle my way in here a little bit to make this work. Why is it different heights? Is it different heights? Nope, it's not different heights. So that one on that side, stone extension A, stone extension A, turn the snap back on, all right, so that's quite a number of things that I wanted to do, let's make this bigger. That looks good, and oh, let's, we got to turn these on like this. That looks good. But what looks good to them in the front? I don't know. We're going to put a stone grave right here. make this look a little bit like a graveyard that you would have back then. See if that will be enough. So we're starting to lose it on those two things. On berries and on whatever else we have. So do we need a transporter, a miller, and our soldier? We're done with letting people in here. All right, until everything gets moved, we're done. We're just going to stay over here playing with this. I want the stone grave, I want the wooden cross right on top. That's why I want that. Okay. Extension A. Good. Alright. And I feel like we need door C's on, not C's. Well, how would the door C's look? That actually doesn't look so bad.
that's that's a pretty impressive place if you ask me um i love how these things just come together So you would just raise this up. Wow, this is cool as hell. Let's just put these wooden crosses on. I don't know where that cross went. No idea. No idea where that cross went. Did it go somewhere over here? All right, so maybe put a door um, be on here. That way there's a back door. I wish I knew where the core was. Is this the core? It won't take everything with it. Uh, I wish I could. I, I think we're done. Construct it. We'll worry about doing other things to it in a little bit. So we have a lot of things done. We have a splendor of your village unlocked a new tier of unlockables. So that might be these over here. These over here. Nope, it was these. Lord Manor Stone Set, Treasury, Hedge, and Bailiff Office. Those are all what we're going to be building across the street in the next episode, the episode that we give away a copy of this game. All right, just a couple of things I want to do. I want to get this tailor done before we close out today's session. And if we can get the bakery up and running, that would be good. Where did we wind up putting that bakery? I feel like we put the bakery down somewhere. Oh, these came up. Oh, loving it. So goods, we're going to do clothes. Then we're going to do berries, bread, and fish. And then we got to let more people in here. A lot more people in order for things to be good. All right, so we have another church going up. This one's going to be even better than the other one. We got the tailor going up. I have no idea where I put that baker. I thought I put it over here somewhere. Oh, I put it right here. That's gonna be the next thing that we prioritize. So we got the tailor and a bunch of market tenders that we need to put out. So that's at least two rounds of immigrants. Let's say we get those done and then we start working on other things. All right, this needs to get done. And they have done their business over here. Like nobody's business. And the one thing that we forgot to build over here, a forester camp. Let's just put the forester camp just a little bit down over here, like this. Okay, so that forester camp is going to be important. Oh, did that get done? Nope, it's not done yet. But when it is, we got to take this one away. We're not trying to add one yet. We're just trying to move one. All right, we're coming to a close. I promise you, everyone. As soon as we get some people, throw in the tailor. That would be awesome. We do indeed need at least one more market stall over here. We're going to do it back to back with this one. Let's see if we can fit that in. Edit. 
good stone. We're just going to put it like that. Good stall is going to be a red tent. Red tent. Let's move the whole thing over this way a little bit. Okay. And I think we're just going to put down a couple of benches. And put some barrels down. said crates instead of barrels and we'll get them to start construction on that cool cool beans is this done yes it is sorry you're done over here you're gonna be moving your business back into this area over here once that forester gets up we should be all right over there now we need this bakery up and we can call it quits tonight just as long as we get that production line started. So we're going to need to find a place where we can get... Oh, we have it right there. So I think this might be our next place to get. We have a free one right now. We're going to need ore. We're going to take that one. It's the only way we're going to make our own tools in this game. Click off this so I could take a look at everything and how it's coming along. The bakery, this, okay, that's done. The church hasn't even started yet. It will be finished for the next episode. We're just waiting on that bakery and a few more people, a few more good souls. So I think we have them. We have a market tender. Yep, we have all those people. Cool, cool beans. So a tailor, a market, okay, so we have all those. So we're going to do the tailor right now. And we're going to need carpenters and stonemasons. Why do we need carpenters? I thought we had carpenters set up. Oh, because I did a stone cutter up here for no reason. That's crazy. I wish I had a way to see idle workers in this game. It would lead to me being able to do more to help them. All right, so over here, we have a good stall. We also need another stall for food. So I could put it right here. I don't want to go next to there, so that's 70. Come on, build that bakery. Well, folks, I think it's going to be a little bit before the bakery gets built, in fact. So we're just going to move it till next show when we give away that free copy of Foundation. Thank you so much for watching and for participating in the conversation in my first two videos. I really do appreciate it. And yes, being a big Star Citizen fan, Star Citizen City names are on the table for this. So if you do come up with one and you get picked, you can get a free copy of Foundation. All right, folks, I'm going to close out the show. And we are going to just keep an eye and watch and see as this place grows into a bustling megalopolis. Well, that's never going to happen. So if you like the video, please click the thumbs up icon below. If you do subscribe, that bell-shaped notification icon, clicking it is going to let you be the first to know when I upload a video. That way you don't miss any of my future videos. And I really do appreciate your, your, your viewing and your subscribing to me. But if you want to help out just a little bit more, we do have a Patreon. I do have some unique... Um, things I do at my patrons, we do play games together and talk together on my Discord. And uh, when I get back to streaming, you'll also be invited to play with me on my streams. 
So you can go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Batgirl if you want to help out the show. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.